Digital Science Nugget Number Three. Today we are going to look at the attention span. Do you know that your child is developing his attention span from day dot? So when you are breastfeeding or giving the child milk, have all your attention on the child. How can a child grasp attention if the child does not get attention? Do you know if a mom while breastfeeding is on the smartphone? breast secretion stops and the child's sucking stops because that bonding is so essential and he learns the attention span in his early days by the length of bonding mom has with him or her and by the length of breastfeeding that goes on all of brain development and brain brilliance is related to the early attention span so do your best to keep a child's attention span as long as possible even in the early days and when the child is about two years old you need to give him a desk he sits on one side of the desk and if the girl she sits on the other side of the desk and they do school for how long maybe 10 minutes then the bell rings and the pupil goes home who is the pupil the dog and the teacher goes home so it's all about developing the attention span by the child, by the time the child is uh, five years old and entering school, the child's attention span would be about 20 minutes. So some schools have the first period uh, for 20 minutes, some schools have the first year for 30 minutes, but the teacher must know to do 20 minutes and just stretch out the time. The child gets an attention span of about 40 minutes only at the age of 12. That's how school timetable is arranged. So in this time, developing the attention span is about making brain brilliant for the future. If you give the digital screen, the child's attention span will reduce. Because the pixel screen, that is a digital screen. What is a pixel screen? The home TV screen, the uh, smartphone, the iPad, the tab, they are all pixel screens. With the laptop or the desktop, it's, they are backlit. There's an LCD screen in front. So the advice of the American Pediatric Association is never give the child any of the screen before the age of three. Let me repeat, parent, the advice of the American Pediatric Association which is medical advice is please don't give your child the screen before the age of three for any reason. So now you will know that the smart screen actually does not make the child smart because the child's attention gets distracted and pixels don't produce memory and learning. Pixels actually produce distraction. So my plea to you is get the child to work on cubes and in a given period of 30 minutes or one hour, keep only two or three toys maximally. Don't flood the playpen with lots of toys. Other thing is that the child likes to do he likes to crawl from where he is to where the mother is. So he initiation, navigation, in conclusion, and the reward of mom saying, well done. If mom is not at home and dad is not at home, there has to be a caring carer who empathizes with the child, speaks to the child in the infant directed speech. So please don't hire a carer who puts the child on the screen. So this is about developing a child's attention span, which is what makes a child brilliant. And by the way, if you keep your attention span for 45 minutes without doing multitasking, you will not get Alzheimer. That's right. Lifelong, keep an attention span of 45 minutes. Do one thing at a time. Brain is not into multitasking. Thank you. Digital nudges number four will be coming soon.